Is there any particular library that is near and dear to your heart that you feel like this was one that either, I don't know, conceptually developing it, like you must kind of have favorites, right? Like they're not all equal to you, right? Yeah, I think, I mean, I have to say one of my favorites is like dbplyr, which allows you to write like R code, dplyr code, and then translate that, translates that automatically to SQL. And one of the things I kind of love about it is there's a sort of combination of like this really kind of deep technical knowledge of R that you need to make this work in terms of like translating the R code. And there's also kind of like, there's no way to do it perfectly. Like you cannot translate perfectly every piece of R code to equivalent SQL. So there's also this kind of like, how do I carve out like the, the biggest benefit with the smallest amount of work? And I think the, the combination of those two things uh, is something I really enjoy. Nice. And kind of related to that, like there's bits of the test that package. Um, like one of the, one of the just to test that as a package for doing unit testing. In R, and one of the things I worked on a couple of years ago was this package called Waldo, uh, which is all about like concisely describing the just difference between two objects. And that's kind of like a similar problem. Like you've got this like deep technical understanding of like the language and all the objects and like writing C code, iterate through them. And then how do you like present that to the user in like a way that helps them see the differences? as as easily as possible. So that kind of tension there between like this again programming and like human psychology. I just find that like really interesting and, and fun to explore. Nice. Yeah. It must be interesting to think to yourself, well, there's clearly this need to be addressed. And it's a it's you know an impossible problem to solve perfectly. So how can we get most of the way there in a way that will satisfy most people? Um, and those are two libraries that I definitely need to spend more time with. Um, I don't think I've used dbplyr or test that, actually, um, despite my love yeah, for the categories. dbplyr is also just one of those things where I'm like, it just seems like a miracle <laughs> that it works so well. Like, it, it, I think the thing that's fascinating to me is that, like, it really reveals, like, for the kind of core data, this core like stuff you do to vectors in data science, like whether you're summarizing them or you're like filtering them, it's basically the same code in like R or Python or SQL or JavaScript. There's like a pretty, you can express pretty much the same things in every single language in a way that is sort of surprising and, and interesting to me. 